Hey guys, today we're going to do a video here showing you how to connect wireless devices to a wireless router. This is the wireless router that we're going to use today to connect to. It is a Netgear brand router and it is online and ready to go. I will flip it over to the back side. All Netgear routers have the information you need on the back of them on this little sticker here. The Wi-Fi network name is Netgear82. That's the network we'll need to look for. The password for the router so that your neighbors can't get on your wireless router is Smooth Valley 2. Okay, the two devices that we have are a cell phone and a Windows computer that we're going to connect today. On the Windows computer, we are going to look for this wireless connection icon. This is our little radio tower. Uh, if it has a little star by it, it means that it has the wireless radio turned on, but it's not connected to a network because the bars are gray. And if it has a red X on it, you're going to need to go to your computer's usual user manual and make sure that the radio is turned on. There's uh, different buttons and switches on different models that you may need to uh, fiddle with that to make it work. Alright, so I am going to slide my mouse down to this icon and click on it. And that pulls up a list of network uh, wireless routers that we can connect to. And some of the older style computers with Windows Vista on them, you actually have to click on that little radio icon and then click on connect to a network. In this case, it just brings it right up. There are two networks for our wireless router. One is Netgear 82 and the other one is Netgear 82-5G. This is what's called a dual band router. This 5G network is a faster network, but it is short in range. The Netgear 82, a little bit slower network, but it has a longer range. So you'll have to pick and choose based on your device, whether it's a newer device, get it connected up to the faster network, or if it's a little bit older device, you may only see this Netgear 82. It may not have the 5G capability. Um, if you're running out of range, maybe on the second floor of your house, you would want to go with the Netgear 82, you'll have a little more. The same pertains on a cell phone. So I can click on the little uh, menu button down at the bottom, and then I can click on settings. And then I have Wi-Fi here, so I can click on Wi-Fi. And that shows those same networks, so Netgear 82. And this particular phone has the capability of seeing Netgear 82-5G. So. Those are the two there. Alright, so going back to the computer, we're going to connect that to Netgear 82. So I'm just going to click on that icon, and I want to make sure that connect automatically is checked. Um, that'll allow us to have this computer connect to that network every time we enter the home. We won't have to re-enter the password. I'll click on connect, and then it's going to ask me to type in the password, which was Smooth Valley 2. Alright, I want to make sure I typed it in right, so I click on this little radio icon, Smooth Valley 2 is in there, and click Next, and in short order it should connect up to our network, and once it does, um, because this router wasn't set up yet, um, it's going to go to our connection page, which means we are online and connected to that wireless router. So, Alright, back to the phone. We see Netgear 82, and it says that it has WPS available. So I'm going to show you a quick little handy way to connect this cell phone to the wireless router. Maybe you have a wireless router that has an icon that looks just like this, a little lock with a uh, little radio sticking out of it. That's a WPS, a Wi-Fi protected setup button. That allows me to connect to this device without having to type in all that information like we did on the computer. So what I'm going to do is, on the Android phones, again, I'll use the menu button, and it says WPS push button. So I will click that. Then it says tap the Wi-Fi protected setup button on your router. So we will go ahead and here's that button. I'm going to press it and actually hold it for three seconds. One, two, three, and let it go. And it should start flashing. Now this is communicating with the first device that it sees that's in the Wi-Fi protected setup mode. And in short order, we should see this phone trying to connect up to the network. It does this all automatically. I don't have to type anything in. 
says it's connected and we are good to go up here in Netgear 82 and connected. That is as simple as it is to connect a couple of devices to a wireless network a couple of different ways. Uh, if you have more than one device in your house go ahead and feel free to connect them all up. Uh, printers and things like that do have WPS connections so now you know how to connect those up if they're wireless. Cell phones, they all have the uh, basic structure here where you find the network and type in the password when it asks it, or you can use a WPS connection. And uh, laptops and other wireless devices are pretty much the same way where we get them all connected up to the network and uh, we're all happy-go-lucky. I hope that uh, helped you out and uh, hope we can see you back. Thanks.